Hello, and welcome again to GM Construct. This is the sixth episode of Watermark Essentials, and in this episode, we will be combining our knowledge from episodes two and five in order to create an automatic door using the hydraulic tool and the target finder. So let's head over here to see what I have prepared for us. As you can see, I've placed a number of plates. In the middle, there's a gap. When we're finished, those two glass plates will close together, filling the gap. And when we move close enough, they will split apart, providing us an entryway. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is make it so the two glass plates are flush with the opening, in their open position. To do so, let's get out the Easy Precision tool and set it to Move First Prop to Second. Select the edge, as you see in the video, and place it in the corresponding location. Do the same with the other door in the opposite direction. Like so. Alright. Now that the doors are in their correct location, we need to give them a means of movement. First off, giving them a sort of track, let's place the slider tool. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the corner, each corner of these doors, and right click. This will draw a slider line all the way across until it hits something. That is why I place those two plates perpendicular at the end, so that the sliders don't continue for eternity until they hit the end of the map. Instead, they stop in a much more clean location. Now that we've given the doors a track to slide along, let's make a means of movement. Take out the wire hydraulic tool, and since the hydraulic line will be ultimately traveling in a straight line the whole time it's being used, fixed is the best, is the best setting for this. Once again, right click after you find the center of the side of the door, and left click to place the controller. Do this once again on the other side. Right click to draw the line and left click to place the controller. Now mechanically, the door is finished. All we need to do is wire it to make it operational. The first step in wiring is placing a target finder. Set the range close to 150, and max bogies to 1. This will make it so that it logs a target whenever one comes in range, instead of holding it throughout. There we go. Once we've placed that, let's get its corresponding beacon sensor. It's o the only setting you'll need is distance, so check only the distance box and place the beacon sensor near the target finder. Okay, now to compare the distance, we're going to need a gate comparison greater than. This will allow us to compare two numbers, seeing if one is greater than the other. Now we need two other gates, a gate arithmetic add, and a gate arithmetic multiply, like we used in the second tutorial, with our hydraulic steering. Now, almost done, we need a gate logic not invert. There are two types of not gates, I believe and it is important that you select the invert type. Next we need a constant value of 47. 47 because the width of a standard PHX plate is about 46.44. 47 just gives a little bit of extra length to ensure the door closes completely. Now in case you missed any of that, here's a complete list of the gates and objects we added. Alright, you can go back and pause and to give yourself more time if you need it. Now let's get wiring. First, wire A from the greater than to the beacon sensor. So that it receives the distance. Then after that's done, 
wire A from the not to the greater than. Alright, now that that's done, wire target from the beacon sensor to the target file, and select output 1. This will gather the distance logged in the target finder and give it to the beacon sensor, which will in turn transfer that to the greater than. Now wire A from the multiply to the constant value, and do the same with the add gate, so that 47 is added to the multiplier value. Now B from the add can go to the multiply. Okay, now we're going to wire B from the multiply gate to the not invert. So it receives the value 1 or 0 to multiply 47 by 1 or 0. Now let me take you through a run through of what's happening here. You start at the target finder and it gives the distance to the beacon sensor. The beacon sensor sends its value to the greater than, and if it's greater than 0, it says 1. And the not invert converts 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. The multiplier, in turn, multiplies 47 by either 1 or 0, and add either adds 47 to 47 or 0 to 47, whichever is output by the multiplier. Now, wiring hydraulic link to the add, we can get the hydraulics to receive either 47 times 1 or 47 times 2. There you go, the door's done. And as you can see, I walk up to it and it opens. Okay, seems to be working fine. So that's it for this tutorial. Now, having learned all we need, the next tutorial will encompass the build of an Autonac turret, like the sentries in Team Fortress 2. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope this helped.